Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. And um, today we are definitely thinking outside the box because Jay Rosas, who we've featured on the channel before, has been inspired by his wife using the phrase thinking outside the box and come up with a rule set that apparently uses that. So I haven't read it yet. We'll look at that in a moment. But um, don't forget that you can, you can be an equivalent of James Bond and try and crack the puzzles set by the famous Bond villains on Patreon. Um, and you can possibly save the world as you do it. So do try that. There are five puzzles in the puzzle pack and you find your way to a sixth, which is, somebody described it as a victory lap. It's not the hardest is the point. So do check that out. Um, it's on Patreon. It's great fun. All of our $2 and above patrons can access it. And we we welcome entries until the 20th, so give it a go. Um, there's always some great content on Patreon. There's always some great content in our apps, which we have nine of them. They are fabulous fun, and they include Thermo Sudoku, and they are superb practicing material. Check them out and uh, give them a go. Now, there's also Sven Sudoku Pad and our merchandise. Do check that out on the links under the video. But the first link is to this puzzle outside the box and it's become time to go through the rules. Normal Sudoku rules apply. So we'll put one to nine in every row, every column and every box. And now we're gonna combine thermo and circle rules. So digits on a thermometer increase away from the bulb end. So we're getting bigger as we go up that thermo. Oops, like that. Um, a digit in a circle indicates the number of circles that contain the digit. So if there was a seven in here, there would be seven circles containing the digit seven in. Um, and, oh yeah, this is the thinking outside the box rule. A digit in the center circle, the center cell of a bold outlined three by three box. So this is a bold outlined three by three box, and this is its center cell is the sum of all circle digits in cells outside the box adjacent to the box, including diagonally. So this one is adding the circle digits in this region, which is those two circle digits highlighted. So that is the sum of those two. Okay, that's really interesting. So the central cells of each box are the ones doing the thinking outside the box. That's very neat and well expressed. I'm not gonna need to change those rules. Good work, Jay Rosas. So give it a try on the link under the video. I'm gonna start now and see how we get on. Let's get cracking. Um, you can probably judge from the video length, given that this isn't April the 1st, how hard the puzzle is, or how hard I found the puzzle. Okay, the first thing to do in a circles puzzle is often to count the circles carefully. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, there are 15 of them. Now, the thing we learned from that is that the digits, the unique digits that appear in the circles multiple times add up to 15. So it could be eight and seven, or it could be one, two, three, four, and five. It's a reasonable bet. It's more likely to be the latter. Now, okay, I can see that it couldn't actually be eight as one of the digits because two of the cell, two of the boxes have no circled cells. If you were putting eight in a circle, you would have eight in eight different circles. They'd be in eight different boxes by the rules of Sudoku, but there are two of these nine boxes that don't have a circle in at all. So they don't have a circled eight in, so that's not possible. So we're not using nine or eight. Um, what about seven? Right, that would require a circle in every one of the other boxes that aren't highlighted at the moment. The one in box one would be there. The one in box four would be there, and that wouldn't leave anywhere to put a seven in box five. So seven is not a circle digit. We're selecting from one, two, three, four, five, six. Now that doesn't mean we're just dropping out the six. We are dropping out digits from one, two, three, four, five, six. Digits that total six. So we could just drop out the six, or we could drop out one and five, or two and four, or even one, two, and three, and therefore only put four, five, and six in circles. I am 
I'm just going to put one, two, three, four, five, six as a set in. Because I'm never afraid to over pencil mark. That's not quite true, but. Now, what about this thinking outside the box stuff? Because I've got so little else to go on so far. Actually, no, before I do that, let's just check whether we could get six circles filled with sixes. And we'll start on the same route because we can only put one in column one and we can only put one in row five. So we've got a maximum of two sixes there. And then we're going to have to have one in each of the other four boxes that have circles in. Oh. And uh, it does look like they could contain four sixes. I can't see a way of ruling that out. So just worth checking. If we could have ruled out six, we'd know it would be one, two, three, four, five in the circles. Let's think about these central digits. So that one is adding those two, sorry, those two. Shall we put a color on that? We'll give it light gray. Yeah, we'll give it light gray. This one is only adding those two. No, okay, let's forget the light gray coloring. This one is adding those two. This one is only adding that one, so they're the same digit. So let's, let's color them the same. Are there any other cells, boxes, where we're only adding one digit? Yes, there's this one, so we'll make those yellow. This is adding three, including yellow. This is adding just two, including, no, not including yellow. This is adding two. This, oh, it's two, I thought it was one. This one is adding four digits, right. I've learned something from that. Oh, have I? No, I was gonna say there must be a one because yeah, there must be a one. There must be a one that is right. Okay, the absolute minimum of these four cells is one one in a circle, remember? That's the maximum there could be. Two twos and one three. That means the minimum central digit is eight. Now, there is a degree of freedom there, obviously, because that minimum central digit could be a nine instead. We cannot use that degree of freedom up by not having a one, because that would involve three twos and a three, and that's too many twos in circles. So one of these digits in circles is a one. And that, that okay, so that takes one out of all the other circles in the puzzle, because we know that one of the ones around the central box, one of the circles, I mean, is a one. One of these four is a one. The other three include a two, but they could then have two threes. Or, oh, they could even have a four in. They could be one, two, two, four. But they can't have a five or a six in. So there are various combinations for those four circles. They're either one, two, two, three, making eight. Or to make nine, they could be one, two, three, three, or one, two, two, four. There's only three combinations. I thought there were more. Now, what I have learned, what I have learned is that one is not excluded from the digits that add up to 15 in the circles. One is included. And therefore, one five as a pair is not excluded. Oh, look, there are... F also, I was going to say one, two, three is not excluded, but I've just seen there are four circles in a box, so one, two, three could never have been excluded because they couldn't all have been different. So, so there are now only two ways of making up the 15 sum. One of them excludes two and four from one, two, three, four, five, six, and one of them excludes six. But hang on, if we excluded two and four... The minimum for these four cells would be 1333, three, three, which adds up to 10. And it's not a, no, it is a potential football formation. Um, but that is not valid because, because it adds up to 10. 
So we cannot exclude two either because of these four cells. And now we know we do exclude six. We are using, and I was prepared to bet on this at the start, we are using one, two, three, four, five in the circles. Wow, I mean, that's quite a complicated deduction, but it's pretty fun. I was about to write a nine in here, but that hasn't been proven at all. So forget that. Oh, now this digit and this digit have to be the same as their yellow and purple. They're not ones. Ah, and those are two of the digits that surround the central box. So the one in the central box is in one of those two. The one in that total is in one of those two. And these are from one, two, three. If that's a one, that's a one. Wow, what next? This is really weird and interesting. Um, oh, this digit is adding these two. Yeah, I mean, we've, we've, we've narrowed down the field a bit. This one is adding those two. That's huge. This has got a maximum of five, and those are a, ma a minimum two, three pair. We're there. We've got a digit in the puzzle. That's a two, three pair, and that's a five. And we've solved one of the fives. Ah, and this is not two or three. Now, that is ruling out five from some other cells. Where can fives be in this puzzle? I'll tell you. Look, that cell is adding those two, isn't it? So that, it is, so that can't be a five. That can't be a two, by the way. I don't know if I can go beyond that, but where are the cells where five could be now? Right, let's include the one that we've already got. So amongst these cells that I've just colored green, there are five fives, and I think there are seven cells there, but, only one of them can be in column nine. Only one of them can be in box six, actually. Now, hang on, this one. Oh no, it's, it's, sorry, I was thinking that was a total of those two, but it's this cell that is a total of those two. So that is not ruled out from being five. Can we find one of these cells that can't not be a five? That's how I'm going to put it. There's only one in column nine. There's maximally one in each of these. What am I missing here? I'm missing something. This digit now is adding that to that. It is either six, seven, eight, or nine. That, by the way, is going to mean that this, oh, well, it couldn't be a five anyway, it must be low. And that's three of the low digits in the column. If that was also low, I don't know. Okay, let's imagine this wasn't a five. Then you'd have to have You've only got one in column nine. You'd have to have those and that all as fives. And then this would have to be a five. Yeah, I don't know. Um, okay, I've thought of something else. If we imagine this isn't the one, and therefore that is the one, this is a group of two, three, four, five. I don't know, no, maybe that doesn't do anything. If this wasn't a five, that's a two, three, four set. No, I don't know. It's, it's probably easy. One, two, three. At least two of these that I've got highlighted are fives. No, I 
I don't know. I don't know what this does. That's annoying. Um, right, I need to think more about the outside the box thingy. This is preventing those two being a five and a four pair. That's not interesting, is it? Oh, this is adding these two cells. This one here is adding those two. Now, that maximum is seven. The minimum is three, because that must be at least a one and a two. think. No, that could be one and two. Okay, so this is three, four, six, or seven. Now, if this was low, three or four, this would be a one, two, three, four, five set. That would have to be the one. Ah. I'm saying if this was low, three or four, that would have to be the one because of the one, two, three, four, five set. But then that couldn't be a one. And then we couldn't add up to three or four there. Oh, that's beautiful in a way. I mean, I'm sure it's not going to actually help. But I think I've just proved that this cell, let's call it orange, can't be three or four. Because it's adding up those two orange cells. And if it was three or four, that has to be one. But if it's three or four in this one, two, three, four, five set, that has to be one. And we can't have two ones in circles. So it's not three or four, it's six or seven. And now this can't be a one. Oh, that is very pretty. Because it can't get to the total of six or seven with that cell. I'll take that, that's lovely. So this is the one in circles. We've done it, we've found it. <laughs> we've done very little else with it. Um, these can't both be fours. Oh, one of these two is a two because of this. No, that's not true. This could be a seven total and that's a three, a three, four pair then. Oh, bother. I thought we were onto it. Um, if we could establish somewhere as well as this pair where there has to be a two. Right, this total needs a two in one of these three cells, doesn't it? Otherwise, they are a minimum of 3, 3, 4, which is 10. We can't put 10 in a Sudoku cell. That is a knowledge bomb, free from cracking the cryptic. So one of these three is a 2, and one of these two is a 2. And that's going to use up the 2s. So these remaining circles, none of them can have a 2 in. And that might change things a bit. This can't be 6 anymore. That's a minimum of 7 from those two. This one is adding just yellow, of course. This one is adding that and that. So this is now four or five. Interesting. Lots of these cells that I need fives in are really getting narrowed down now. Uh, this one is adding those two. So somewhere from three to six. This one is that, so it is not a four, and that's been available for a little while and I hadn't spotted it. This one's adding that. This one is adding all of these. So the minimum is now seven, just like that cell in row two. Two, two, three, I'm thinking, as the absolute minimum, or even two, three, two. Now, does that require these? The minimum this can be is a two, so they could add up to seven, which they won't add up to because it's too much. That's sort of interesting. It's too much for this central cell. This is adding those two. So I'm going to say that one of these is a four, which 
which is probably uninteresting. Maybe I should actually be looking at how many of the circles can be fives and fours. Is that worth doing? No, maybe it's simpler to look at the converse, which is how many can be twos and threes? I don't know. I don't know if either of those are worth doing. We've definitely got one two in in one of those cells. I wanted to say we've definitely... Oh, we've got one two somewhere around this one. Oh, that can't be a two. That is not one of the available cells where two could be. And that is the sum of this. So that can't be a three anymore. This is now four, five, or six. But it's not a circled cell. <laughs> I know, I know you know that. I'm really just telling myself. That one is adding those two. So those are one apart from each other. So they definitely include a four. And that one now can't be a four. And now that means this can't be a three. Because it's, this one is adding those two. That's weird, isn't it? Oh, where does that leave me? Um, okay, I don't know, but these numbers are all getting quite congested. This, if it's a six, we've definitely got two and four there. If one of these was a four, then these three circles are two, two, four. We know that. So this would be a 2, that would be a 3, that would be a 4. So that can never be a 4. That is 2 or 3. Can this be a 4? This is... If that's a 4, this is at least 8... No, I've just worked out. One of those is a two. There can't be two twos around here. Now the absolute minimum for these is three, two, three is eight. That's probably been available a long time. Wow, those cells where five could be. I thought they would have narrowed down a bit by now, but they haven't quite. I'll tell you what, if this cell was a five, look at the effect of that. That stops all these three greens being five and definitely doesn't leave enough possible fives in circles. So that is a six. Is that our breakthrough? That makes this a definite five. That stops this being five. That six makes this a seven. That seven makes this a three, four pair and the work we've done on them is bearing fruit. Now, that's a three. These could be two, three, or two, four. They must have a two in. In fact, we've got two, three, four triple there. We've got one three there, one three in one of those circles, and one three in this row. So these other circles cannot be threes. They are a four, five possibility. What about the fives? Still, no, now I'm going to do that earlier plan of going, where can fours and fives go? We've got one, two, three circled already, two more there and one here. That's six of the fours and fives and one here. That's seven. There's going to be one of them is a four in row four. That's eight. And this one is going to have to be a four to make up the count to nine. That was worth doing. So these two have both become fives that's all they can be now. We've got four fives circled and two fours. So there's going to be another four here and this pair is going to be a four five pair. And I don't know how they're going to break down yet. Oh, these can't have a three on anymore. So this can't be a three. Come on, this must be done. Let's look at the centers again. That is just the same as that. That is just the same as that. Neither of those are resolved. This is done. This is done. We've got all the circles they're adding. This one, the same again. We've done it. This one, we know it's adding a two and a three. 
This is going to add those two, still somewhere between seven, eight, and nine. This one's the same as that, and this is adding those three. And I, well, I've still not dealt with this. Okay, we've now got four there. If that was a four, we'd definitely be up to ten. There we go. So that's the two. And oh, that doesn't actually resolve these two. <laughs> that's weird. Five, and that can be three or four to make that eight or nine, so I'm still not resolved on those. Okay, fair enough. I will carry on from here without, without getting any actual resolution on that stuff, which is absolutely astonishing to me. I thought it would be obviously finished, all the circles, once we got this much done, and quite the opposite is true. Now this digit is seven or eight. How do I know that? Do pause it if you're wondering. Well, we've got one, two, three or four there in three cells. So we can't have two of these from one, two, three or four because that would be five cells in the column from one, two, three or four. That doesn't make any sense. So although this one could be a one or a two, this one can't be from those low digits it also can't be four, five, or six in the row, so it is seven or eight with eight or nine on the bowl, on the tip beyond it. Why can't I do a bit of Sudoku? Oh, here's something interesting. Those can't be a four because of this four. That can't be a four because of the three, four pair. So the four in this box, which could be in the circle, is definitely in column nine. And then the four in column eight is up in one of those two cells. Oh, look, this is a four, five pair because of the circles. Remember that. And they're both seeing this cell. One of them is a four, so that can't be a four. That's a two. That's a one. Oh, that was a two ever since I made the yellow cell there a two. Oh, well, I found it a different way anyway. Um, now, four was in one of those cells. Could it be there if that was one or two? That could definitely be two. I mean, I suppose this cell sees the four or five pair as well. Actually, so does this one. All of these three see that four or five pair, so that can't be four. Nor can this. Can it be six? No, because six, seven, eight, nine there would break that cell. So this is low. That's even lower now. Uh, sorry, that one's even lower now. This one, it's all I know is it's not four or five. I can't go beyond that. But I got two low digits there. One of them has to go on this thermo. I don't know whether this is a one or a two, but whatever it is, it has to go on this thermo in one of those two positions. So this digit is one or two. It's a bit odd you can't tell a little more than that from that digit. Ah, one, two pair in column two, and that's a three. And for once I'm remembering that I've got a purple, purple equivalence. That gives me two there. Now, I've got my two twos in circles completed. Now, this total is nine in the central cell. We've done it now. Now I'm looking across the middle row. We get a one in one of those places. These are from three, eight, and six. Oh, yeah, they don't include four. Four is in one of those two spots. Does this nine do anything else? It doesn't look like it will. Two by Sudoku, though, in box. Column six must go here on the bulb. That makes that a one. That puts two and three on the other thermo. That three strongly suggests this circle will be a three, but doesn't prove it. I'm not pencil marking. Even I'm not pencil marking this thermo or this thermo yet, or even this one. <coughs> Maybe I should. Oh, look, this cell can't be three, five, six, or seven. 
Oh, and it was two that had to be in one of these cells. I suppose this could still be a two or a four, and it can't be anything beyond that. All right, we are pencil marking this one now. Five, six or seven there. Six, seven or eight. Seven, eight or nine. But hang on, this can't be seven for the same reason this can't be eight because if there was an eight, nine combo there, this digit is broken. How is that digit not known yet? It's astonishing, isn't it? This one is adding those two. Have I, have I solved some central counting outside the box cell and not even understood it. No, I haven't actually. Three in this box seems to have to be here. And that fix, that's extraordinary. Look at that. It can't be there because of that three. And the pencil marking, yeah, it can't be there because of the thermo. It can't be there because of the count and it can't be there because of that three. Oh, uh, so that three is gonna sort out the last no, not all the circles, but the two circles in row four. Now it, we've done the count of this digit, it's a nine. We've done the, no, we haven't completed the count of this digit, but we can't have a nine there. And we could have done that by Sudoku, seven or eight, depending what that is. Eight must be in one of these three cells now. Yeah, that's true. Nine must be here in box box six, and that is six or eight. Three is definitely in one of those cells now. These are from one, six, eight. I mean, mostly it's actually classic Sudoku from here on, but it doesn't feel like it yet. Ah, that's a seven, eight pair in the row. That's incredibly useful. One and a two, nine pair there. Um, that one gives us one in the central box. There must be a five in one of those two cells. I wish I knew it was that one, then I'd get my last circles done. These are from six, seven, eight, nine in the row. I bet, yeah, where's four in this column? I suppose it can be here. In fact, it's quite likely to be. Um, but still, we are working on a completion. Oh look, that's seeing a one and a two in the row. That's a three. So that's a three. That was fairly obvious before, I just hadn't seen it. One and two are here in this box. That's a one, two pair in the column. This is six, seven or eight, therefore. And that's a triple. So that's a five. This is one, two, or four, and it can't be a two, so it's one or four. This has become an eight since we got the six at the bottom. In fact, that's been an eight for ages. I just hadn't seen it. We can't have six there. We've got a seven, eight pair in the box. That's a six. Let's get rid of the pencil marks because they're just distracting me. Now, in this row, this one can't be four or five because it sees them both. So that is four or five, this is seven or eight. That four or five pair now, what's that doing? Literally not a Scooby-Doo. That's a three by Sudoku. That might even be the last three in the grid. So that's been available. One, two, nine, four, three. There's an eight in one of those. Oh, this is a one, eight pair now, isn't it? I've just seen that, finally. So there's no eight in these cells. That's very clear. One, eight, five, three. Nine must be there. These are from five, six, seven. This, this promise to get much easier and I haven't, I haven't, it's not living up to its promise. Two, three, four, five. I mean, I'm just being slow with the rest, but that's okay. Oh, one can't be there. So it's in one of these two cells in box one. Therefore, we know the one eight pair in row five.
which is finished. Um, what else does that tell us? Does that eight tell us anything? No, I don't think it does. This can't be four or five. We learned that from the fact that we've still got this pair to unwind incredibly. This is one, six or nine. It's seeing a seven, eight pair. I can't believe this is still holding out. Four, six or seven, then five, six, seven or eight. That's quite a lot of possibilities. That one, two pair, nothing like resolved. Mm. This is a very clever puzzle, J. Rosas, but it makes me quite frustrated with myself. That's not your fault at all. Eight has to be in one of those two cells in box seven. So eight's in one of those two in box one. That's done precisely nothing. There's a five in one of those two. I don't know what good that is. This thermo must be giving me some answers. That's six, seven or eight. That's seven, eight or nine. So four, no, four or five is down here. If that wasn't a nine, this would be a six, seven, eight triple. One nine would be a pair here. <laughs> this must be so doable at this point. I mean, I've basically finished off the circles. I've basically understood how all the thermos work. And yet I am basically not finishing at all. Three, one, two. Ah, nine in this row. No? Could still be there or there. Is it worth colouring sevens and eights against each other? It seems mad, but let's get rid of all the other colours because um, they're not really adding anything anymore. And they let me colour seven and eight against each other. Now, the one that's in these is purple and that's green. And that's purple. I could have done that more simply going around that way. This one and this one, I don't know. So maybe I've chosen a bad place to start in colouring sevens and eights. Oh, no, I do. That purple can't be in those cells, so it must be in one of those. And that's green and that's purple. And green is probably in one of those. Actually, no, that could be a six, nine pair. So I don't know that. But now, can I find somewhere that can't be seven or eight? Because it can't be green or purple, like these cells. So that's four, six or nine. This one is similarly four, six or nine, I think. Oh, five must be in one of, no, one of those three. That, no, I was going to, well, one of those two, definitely. But obviously one of them is the possible circled five. Okay, well, colouring greens and purples, sevens and eights, did not seem to get anything done. Unless I'm missing something very blatant, no joy. Oh, hang on, green must be in one of these two in box five. So one of these two is green. Ah, so that is not eight. That is seeing purple and green. That is nine. Okay, well that might help. That place is nine in box jobby, box nine as it goes. This is now fully purple. One of these two is purple. Um, come on, that might do something, and it might have been worth doing. Ooh, 
or not. That can't be nine. That can't be nine. The only place for nine in column four is there. That can't be nine, and that's on the thermo. We've now got a seven, eight pair, and I can color that one green. That's a six. Purple has got to be here in row three, and that's another seven, eight pair established. These are from four, five, six. That's a triple, and that might actually suddenly finish the puzzle, which would be weird. This puzzle has messed with me, messed with me badly. I wonder if it was necessary to colour those sevens and eights. It seems, I'm still very sceptical that it wasn't, but you know, I've done it anyway, and it seems to have done the business in some way. That can't be a six, it's sitting right next to a six. Three, six, seven, one. Come on, this column must be doing something. I've got that seven and that eight. Oh, and I've got this seven and that eight. I don't know what colours they are. I, For once, I'm absolutely determined to finish off the colouring for my own purposes because it seems essential to do that. That can't be a five. Two, one, nine, three, five. These are from four, six, seven, or eight. Of course, one of them is green. Three, six, seven, I'm still not finished. Eight, that is two or four. And this is two, four, or six. They are a triple. This is a five, eight pair. It would be nice to have it revealed to me which they are. Oh, uh, don't like this now. I don't like this, it's not a 5-8 pair, I just can't read. It's a 7-8 pair. Those are purple and green here. Good Lord. And there's no 7 in that pair. Uh, there's no colour in that pair, therefore, either. They are wan. Um, and that's... That hasn't finished off anything at all. I've still got that 7-8, that 7-8 to resolve. Goodness gracious. Okay, so it's going to come down to this thermo. That is... This one is 4 or 8. And this is 4, 6 or 7. What does that do? It means there's only one place for nine in this column. That's probably been obvious for ages. That place is two. That place is two in box four. I have a feeling that didn't do anything else other than tidy up pencil marks. So now I've got every cell pencil marked with candidates. Let's get rid of the corner marks again. Hopefully we can just finish this puzzle. I nearly gave it an adjective there, off. Um, it's not going well, I'll admit that. Right, one of these was purple. And one of the one of these two, no, could be what one of these two is green. Doesn't have to be one of those two. Oh my goodness, if you can see what is just holding me up here, just keep shouting it until I can see. It's not this crazy four or five pair in the circles. Oh, it's going to be one of the boxes. That... Oh, I see. It's going to be the interaction of those two things, is it? I've got all the central cells filled in. I've got all the circles filled in. So I've got all the central cells filled in apart from that one. I've got all the circles filled in apart from those two. So this goes, if that's a seven, it goes with a four here. Now, what does that do that's gonna spoil things? Or is it eight there and five there? It's more likely eight there and five there. Now, how would that ramify in the grid? Five there would put five here and six here. It doesn't do a lot else. Oh, 
Ah, oh, but eight in purple would stop this being eight because this can't be purple. So that would be five. So these would be fives that I'd now be high. At least see that doesn't work because that has to be different from that. It's the same as that. Those two are the same. And if eight was there and five was there, this cell, that's extraordinary. This cell couldn't be either because it sees the five by Sudoku and it sees the eight in its guise of purple over here. So it's not eight and five in purple and orange, it's seven and four. That is an extraordinary way to finish this puzzle. And it has proved to be an extraordinary puzzle. So purple has become seven. And I can fill all of those in. And this one is not purple. I promised myself I would purple the remaining digits and green the remaining ones as well. So I'm doing that. And I don't actually know where, where green goes yet down here, but we will find that out in a moment. Right, green has become eight. And that's done an awful lot of the boxes in this puzzle, but not all of them. Six and seven have come out of here. So six goes in there. And now it must finish this off in some way. This one can't be seven or five. That's a four, six pair. So now I can just use Sudoku. Eight there, five there, eight there, four there. And, and it is then, that is gorgeous. It is then, there's a deadly pattern resolved by the thermo with a four there and a six there. What a brilliant puzzle, Jay Rosas. That really is class in a glass. Absolutely amazing. You do have to think outside the box. You really do. And uh, the puzzle has absolutely lived up to its billing there. That is fantastic. What an intriguing finish as well. Really enjoyed that. I hope you had fun with that one. And I hope to see you again tomorrow on the channel. Please do join us again. We love your company. And do feel free to engage with the channel. We love that too. Bye for now.